As you walk out from behind Aldo's towards the lighthouse, you're stuck squeezing by a really narrow opening as a bar gate closes off most of the area in an attempt to keep vehicles from going further. It really pinches off a very, very con congested area. We have a lot of people going out to the beach carrying a lot of gear with them for the day and then eventually they return and sometimes we have a lot of two-way traffic and people just have to stop and wait while one group passes through and then they can go through. I think a much better way to accomplish the task of keeping vehicles out is to get rid of the gate. Maybe now we could temporarily swing it open and pin it open. And what I would recommend is taking a bullard and putting that in place halfway between the post that's already fixed in place and the Aldo's tool shed. That's where the vehicles pass through anyway when the gate is open and that's where a simple bullard would do the same job but completely open up that whole area for pedestrian traffic. There are two bullards in place down by B Dock, which do the exact same task of blocking car traffic and are removable when necessary and keep the area completely open for people to pass by with their stuff. I think it would be a great gift to the community if we could have that in place by the July 4th weekend when there will be literally thousands of people on the beach and hundreds of them certainly coming through at the end of the event all trying to squeeze through this very narrow opening. It's almost a safety hazard in my opinion if you get that many people and they just need to get through here. And not only is that a cheap and easy fix to a pedestrian traffic problem, but you can even use the same padlock that was on the bar gate on the bollard. So everybody that has a key can still use the key and it'll work to open up the area. At the May Port Commission meeting, several ideas were presented for a gateway out to the lighthouse. And every single idea involves, again, blocking the pathway out to the lighthouse. What we want to do is make this user-friendly for people in wheelchairs, pushing strollers, carrying a lot of stuff, and once again, what we're doing is setting up another obstacle course. So I very much disagree with the idea of these designs because they don't really serve the people. The function should be to open this up and get people out here, not close it down with another obstacle course. When I asked why are we putting stuff on the ground to block people, the answer was, well, we need another donor opportunity. I think we need to turn this idea upside down because, first of all, the primary function should be to open it up and it shouldn't be compromised by the need to get donors. And sometimes it's a really good idea just to sort of turn things upside down. If not yourself, well, then maybe the idea. And that got me thinking about an arch. An arch is a gateway, but it doesn't obstruct traffic on the ground, so to speak. So as you come off the Santa Cruz Wharf and you come in about two blocks, there's a brand new park that's been developed and I looked over and found myself an arch. This one's pretty wide and it's quite elegant, it's lightweight, doesn't obliterate the view, it's kind of inviting. And it was Dennis Norton who sent me down to the Capitola Wharf to have a look at their gateway. This one was paid for by three or four families from Capitola who sponsored the whole thing. I think this is what we could use in our situation something that's metal, something lightweight, something that goes overhead. That way we can keep the pedestrian area open and that would serve both a donor opportunity and the pedestrians. And to give sort of a visual sense of how tall things are or need to be, I have a 10 foot length of PVC pipe and I'm standing next to Aldo so it looks to be about 12 or 13 feet tall. I think a gateway that was about as tall as 10 to 12 feet, you know, from the underside to the upper side would look nice. It would be sort of proportional to the space. And as you can see, this does not in any way block the view of the lighthouse. But then there's the question of what to do if you need to get a tall vehicle out to the lighthouse. Well, you build in a hinge just like we have on the bar gate. You design your archway so that it can open up. What I would suggest is a hinge, something to like the, what the bar gate has here, and on the opposite side you would have a shaft that comes down and could be padlocked into a locked position. So I think if we design it so it could open, that solves that problem. Meanwhile, I took my 10 foot PVC pipe and just to get a sense of a reference, put it up next to Greg Avery's service vehicle, which is about as tall as Sandy's Tucker's uh, service vehicle if he needed to get out there, or Lenny's truck. I also went by my local fire department, and if you look very carefully to your right, you'll see my pole leaning against the uh, gray material that's covering up the fire engine. 
so it does look like a fire engine could fit under a 10-foot arch. One of the things every mariner wants to know when they're leaving the harbor is which way is the wind blowing and how hard. And the location of the new gateway is actually a kind of neat place because it can sense wind from about three different directions, sometimes in just one day. So I started thinking about things that might move and take advantage of that wind and kind of show us where it's coming from. And one of my favorite places to watch the wind is on the Santa Cruz Wharf. I love watching the banners. They're a really cheap but accurate instrument, and they're also kind of whimsical and fun. So thinking about things that move in the wind and what can we put in that gateway, I started to just sort of keep my eyeballs open for different examples around town. A lot of them are cloth, but I don't think cloth is the right thing to have in an archway going out behind Aldo's. Maybe metal. And that got me thinking about wind vanes once I saw this little beauty on top of a roof while I'm waiting at the uh, stoplight at 7th Avenue and Murray. And then it got even better when I looked on a rooftop at the corner of Lake and Murray, right on the corner straight across from Aquarius Marine. This beauty really got my mind going. What if we had on our archway along the top about five different boats? boats that would act like wind vanes and slowly turn as the wind changed. I think that would be totally cool, both the kinetic part of it and the sculptural part of it, and I think it's a great donor opportunity. I was thinking more like Merlin and Xantippe, the Stagnero boat, maybe Marisa Lane. There's so many boats that are really unique to Santa Cruz Harbor, and I could see them lined up on some kind of gateway, really representing what this harbor is all about and it could be a money maker. So to sum it up, let's open up this whole area and put in bollards to keep the cars out that we don't want there, make those removable, make the archway a, a donor opportunity, but also that functions well by being able to open up when necessary. Let's enhance it with some really neat artwork, uh, perhaps in the form of whole models instead of half models, but basically accurate to the boats that might participate. And I think we could end up with a win-win situation, something that looks good, is well supported by donor contributions, and does the job of feel making you feel welcome into this new pathway.